Now we have one final additional curriculum um, contribution that you need to consider as you develop your lessons and units and activities and so forth. And that is the cross-curriculum priorities. So this is a set of three priority areas that have been identified. And the concept of this was that they might change over time. They don't relate to the general capabilities, which are much more generalized. And they don't relate to the specific content descriptors that are in the subject-based curriculum. But they are particular areas of interest that need to be developed in students that again go across all of the learning areas. So it's not just the responsibility of one learning area to explore these and develop these, but they can be accomplished in various ways. Now, the first of these is particularly relevant for design and technology, and that is around sustainability. So the idea of instilling in students an understanding that they have a, resp have a responsibility to be sustainable, particularly around environmental sustainability, but there are other aspects of sustainability that can be explored can incorporate systems, which is a little bit different to systems thinking, but has some relationship to that. Um, having a worldview that is around um, promoting the sustainable um, survivability of the planet and things of that nature, and looking at designing solutions and creating those preferred futures, which align very well with the technologies learning area. So sustainability is something that we generally do as part of technologies um, education anyhow, but it's good to have it as a cross-curriculum priority that can also be incorporated into other learning areas as well. Now the next is around Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures. And you'll see in all of the elaborations, all of the examples of how to address the various content descriptors, there is an example provided um, that relate to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures. So there's an explicit attempt to incorporate that aspect um, so that students are throughout all of their subjects and all of their learning areas and so forth, they are getting opportunities to engage with and explore Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures. So particularly around country and place, culture and people are the three main themes. And there are various approaches for doing that. And you will receive additional um, instruction in other courses around those specific elements. But in design and technology in particular, we have a lot of opportunities to explore how Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders have approached the solutions to various design and technology problems through particular technologies that they have had a focus on historically. But also in digital technologies, there are a number of um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander approaches to using digital technology particularly around the concept of data and of history and of recording history in various ways that is somewhat different to Western approaches. And that can be explored as well. Now, the final of the cross-curriculum priorities is around Australia's engagement with Asia and how we can explore different ways of learning about um, our neighbours to the north and how we can incorporate various activities as students learn about technology or other learning areas so that they increase their understanding of Asian cultures and society and understanding the global significance of our region and of Asia and particularly the growth and how things are developing in Asia. And that can relate again to some aspects of technology and also design and technology as well. So as you develop your units and your lessons and activities, you will not only look at the content descriptors and the achievement standards, you'll also look at the general capabilities and you'll look at the cross curriculum priorities. So again, to assist in doing this, I've provided you with um, some generative AI activities to explore incorporating these ideas into your lesson planning.